Hello and welcome to the show. Um, today I'm joined by a young musician by the name of Alex Lipinski. I've known Alex for some years now and I've watched his uh, career grow and grow and he's done some wonderful things. Um, so let's go over to Alex right now and have a little chat. Welcome to the show, Alex. Thank you, Cliff. Thanks. How are you doing all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. Good. So, if I take you back to the start of your uh, musical blossoming, shall we say, yeah. um, how did you get started as a musician? Um, just growing up in the house around my family, really. I was the youngest of four children and um, just started listening to records like Beatles and Elvis I was brought up on by my parents. And um, at a point, all my brothers and sisters played uh, instruments and uh, started learning the guitar when I was about 10 years old. My brother first started teaching me and um, it came from there, really. Cool. Okay. And then I uh, had another couple of guitar teachers, yourself mm -hmm. being included. <laughs> and um, yeah, just grew up from that, really. Okay, Alex. So, um, what first inspired you to play? Uh, I don't know. It's just again around the house. I think my parents grew up with love and music. So, all around the house, we were just hearing kind of rock and roll. And um, as I say, I was the youngest, and my brothers and sisters were all musical. They played guitar, they were right, then, yeah. uh, singer. My sister played the flute. Um, and it was just one of the things where it just felt natural to an age when I wanted to play guitar. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually started playing drums first, but. I've got, I enjoy the guitar a lot more, so I stopped drums, but, um, but yeah, just a natural progression really from growing up on music. Okay, so how did you start with your songwriting? What sort of um, you to become a songwriter? It was always something I wanted to do. Um, I mainly started just kind of playing covers and songs I loved doing, and then when I was maybe about 14 at school, uh, we had a great music teacher called Lois Scriven. You did? Yeah, he yeah. sadly passed away now, but um, I always just wanted to write my own songs, and maybe at 14 years old I started trying to write stuff, and that was probably the first song I wrote at 14. Okay, okay. So what sort of players and singers have really inspired you in, in recent times? In recent times? Um, I kind of stem from, as I said, Beatles now, it's kind of 50s, 60s, but in recent mm -hmm. times, I've, I've gone to a lot of um, different songwriters, uh, Ryan, a guy called Ryan Adams, of American guy, mm -hmm. um, a band called Wilco, an American, um, Ron Sexsmith, um, Big fan of Bruce Springsteen in the last kind of few years. Just mm -hmm. a variety of stuff, really. Um, Fleet Foxes are great. But just uh, something that sounds kind of fresh and exciting, and, and mm. you can tell it's a good song and good song writing. But that stemmed from, you know, 60s music, really. A good song is a good song. Yeah. And the, the Beatles kind of wrote the format, I suppose, that we're all still trying to achieve as yeah. writers, I guess. So. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have um, our first song from Alex today. This is called In Two. Over to you, Alex. Like a book now lately As I lay down my heart to you In my lover's tongue I was getting through But you lay down your soul to read And I will pick it up And you will tear it all in two I got a cold Now 
I will pick it up and you will tear it all into Make some sense of your life Lose it all, don't think twice Try to jump, it's a long way to fall I'll lay down my heart to you in my lover's song I'll forget it through I'll lay down my heart to you in my lover's song I'll find getting through I'll lay down my heart to you in my lover's song I'll forget it through And you lay down your soul to read and I will pick it up and you would tear it all in two All in two Oh, baby, yeah Oh, baby, yeah That song's called Into by Alex Lipinski, my dear. Um, okay, Alex, let's have a little chat about some gigs and any recordings you've been doing recently and stuff. Start off with some gigs, anything of interest recently? Um, yeah, myself and my band have recently uh, just played the Borderline in London. Yeah. Um, it was supporting a band called the Bolero Plains, but um, it's just been a, the album. Uh, I've just kind of it's got released originally. It's on an independent label based in London, um, so it's kind of a showcase for the band. Um, mm. Got a couple of labels, to really, just to get get some interest, really, in the song. So that was a big gig, which went really well. Okay. Um, apart from that, I've just been also playing some solo gigs in London, all original stuff, and also around the southwest with um, my older brother Adam, who's uh, just doing covers and, and originals. Cool. Okay. Also. So with the recording, which album, um, what's the album called? Uh, the album's called Lonesome Train. Lonesome Train. And it's uh, a cop here, in fact. No, no. I'll show it to the camera. Lonesome Train, um, which you're on the bonus track, funny enough. Yeah, the bonus. It's a secret, though. I'm on the hidden track, right, really hidden. You've got to, <laughs> I think you've got to pay extra for it or something. It's Alex Lipinski, Lonesome Train, his uh, recent album release. So how are you mar marketing this, then, Alex? Are you doing any stuff on the internet or anything with this? Yeah, it's all online. It's... Um, I see it's out on a, an indie label called Blue Chameleon, distributed yeah. through Cadiz Universal. It's out. Uh, we link to it on my website, which is alexlipinski.com. Cool. Uh, four songs can also be heard on myspace.com slash alexlipinski. Um, it can be bought on iTunes, Amazon, um, and also in various shops around the UK as well. Well, if you like what you're hearing today, please get on and buy it. That's what, I, what I'd say about this particular album. Okay, Alex, let's move on to your second song you're going to do for us, if you don't mind. Yeah. This is a song called Goodbye Lullaby. I've been lost now for a little while, and you, I can't 
hands seem to fight There'd be ash in the northern sooner But I didn't have the strength to even try My heart's drowned in your potion Swimming through the deepest seas Watching all the earth beneath you fall and I just don't understand Sometimes it's hard to be a man But pick you up each time you start to fall Oh my sweetness There was a time when you could do no wrong But oh my sweetness I guess time just keeps moving on and on Tell me, are you lost and lonely, sinking slowly like me? My heart's drowned in your potion, swimming through the deepest seas, watching all the earth beneath you fall. And I just don't understand. Time is hard to be a man To pick you up each time you start to fall Is this love? Ooh. Is this love? Okay, Alex, we'll have a little chat about the future plans you have, my uh, young yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I believe you've got something, hopefully, stateside hooking up soon. Yeah. Um, Tell us about that. Yeah, a few months ago, I went to an audition in Liverpool um, for <coughs> a Beatles show, uh, which is starting in LA. Jeff Emmerich, the original producer from Revolver and Sgt Peppers, was involved in the, in the casting process. So I just went along um, and just went for an audition, and turns out they wanted to cast me as Paul McCartney in this new... Beatles stage show in Los Angeles. Um, so that will be happening uh, at some point next year, uh, probably at the start of 2012, um, which is uh, cool. And um, apart from that, I'm just kind of uh, demoing new songs at the moment, um, ready to record again with the band um, in the next few months for the second album. So you're recording anywhere in particular at the moment? Uh, 
a few ideas in mind. The, the, my first album, Lemon Strain, was recorded with um, Tony Hobden. Of Western Bass, who's a great uh, producer and engineer, and um, we co-produced the album. Um, so I'm working with him on the demos. Um, but it's just uh, things we decide in the next few months. But um, in regards to the album, it's just getting kind of steady reviews here and there and, yeah. and radio plays. So it's just a building process, really. Um, of course, yeah. Which, with the second album, I hope to really build on. And build upon that yeah. initial, initial uh, success, we hope. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, the, uh, that's the plan. At the okay, moment. so when do you think you might be off to... Los Angeles? Um, some point in 2012. At the moment, uh, early 2012. But um, if anything changes, it'll be, be later on in the year. Okay, okay. Alex. Any, any other plans you want to discuss with um, the viewers? No, that's about it, really. I say that's the Beatles thing in terms of my own stuff. Um, apart from writing and recording, um, I'm probably going to be going back to Italy. I played a few gigs in Italy uh, a few months ago just on the basis of. Um, a radio show from Italy coming over to see me in London. Um, so that's going to be happening again, maybe with the band. Um, possibly going to Krakow in Poland to play a couple of gigs. Lovely. Yeah. Um, and also possibility of New York in regards to my own album. Um, but these things will be in the next few months, so um, well, nothing's decided yet. Well, but. if you want to keep posted on Alex's uh, movements, as it were, please check out his... Uh yeah, and MySpace and, and Twitter uh, as well. Oh, oh Twitter. Unfortunately, twitter.com slash Alex Pinsky one. One. And YouTube. How many of you are on there out there? There's <laughs> more than me. Oh, really? <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, youtube.com slash Lipinski music for kind of any videos from gigs that we've got. Okay, so, so you can keep up to speed with this young, uh, young man's progress uh, in the future. Thank you for coming in today, Alex. Um, yeah. I'm going to join Alex on a third song of his. It's called When Will I Be Home? And. Uh, Let's see how we go. You got the right harmonic on? Yeah. It's okay. It. We're in luck. Okay. This is when will, when will I Be Home? Alex the Pitsy. Thank you. <laughs>
Just how much I need her It's hard to be someone When you're losing all control When will I be coming home? When will I be coming home? To When will I be coming home? When will I be coming home to Alex Lipinski, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.